Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. A few days ago, I released a video all about nitrates and uh, some of the concern that people have regarding nitrates. I think you'll find it interesting. You can see it up here. And I just wanted to add uh, to the content in that video by uh, clarifying my ideas about, about water changes. I do water changes, but I don't do them for nitrate reduction. Let's get into that now. So why do I do water changes? Well, I do them for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, I like my tanks looking nice and crisp. I want them looking good. And when I do water changes, I remove the water by vacuuming, and that gives the tank a nice cleaning. That's particularly important for tanks where you have um, gravel that is uh, large, as in the case of my 210 gallon um, South American and Central American cichlid tank, uh, a lot of waste detritus can get in there. And so it needs, it needs vacuuming. And also um, for tanks where the substrate is white and it shows every part, you know, every speck. So you gotta get in there and, uh, and do some vacuuming and, and keep it clean. That brings me to the second reason why I do water changes. I do water changes for minerals. Uh, and sure, there's calcium and there's magnesium, but there's also trace minerals. And very often these minerals uh, over time will, will just settle down into the substrate and no longer be available to the fish, at least not in the quantity that they could be. These trace minerals are vital, are vital to the fish, and they, they, actually, they actually absorb them you know, through the scales, through their, their entire body is, is consuming these, these minerals, and they're only gonna consume what's available in the water column. So if you go for a very long period of time, there's a chance that they can become a bit mineral depleted, and that will lead to um, uh, organs not functioning the way they should, you know, bodily systems just not working right. They need those minerals. So when you, when you do a water change, when you bring in fresh water, you bring in fresh minerals. And uh, that, that, that restocks the aquarium. Uh, I also add uh, with my African cichlids a, um, a Lake Malawi uh, salt blend uh, from Seachem, and I believe Fritz also has it and it also replenishes uh, trace minerals in the aquarium. But I do water changes. I don't do the big 90% water changes. Uh, I'm more um, in the range of about 30%, maybe 40, sometimes even 20 on the smaller aquariums or the lighter stocked aquariums, uh, like this one I'm looking at here with a couple silver dollars in it. So uh, now, as a side benefit, I also get a reduction in nitrates, but that's not why I'm doing the water changes. And as I mentioned in that prior video, nitrates don't really concern me that much. I think it's been hyped up a bit. And if my nitrates get between 40 and 80, I'm not worried. Even though with the system that I'm using currently, my nitrates usually are between 20 and 40 in the more heavier stock tanks. All right, so those are my reasons. Keep that tank looking good, good, and uh, you know, remineralizing, right? Adding minerals to the tank. And as a byproduct of that whole process, a reduction in nitrates. If you have uh, any thoughts on this, share them in the comments below. We all learn from each other around here, of course, as you know. And we can talk about this and a whole lot more on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's Saturday at 11 o'clock Central Time. That's 9 o'clock Pacific and Noon Eastern. Great group of fish keepers. Also, come on by the Facebook page. I have a group called Ben O. Apostrophe Cichlid. Uh, come on by another great group of fish keepers. Very helpful. Um, there's no trolling, no harassment. You can ask anything you want. And uh, you know, we, we work with everything from the brand new fish keeper all the way to the you know, advanced uh, you know, saltwater keepers. They're all there and um, no, one, no one gets on anybody about the question that they're asking or the fish that they're keeping. It's just a good, a good space. Also follow me on Instagram at ben.o.cichlid for um, you know, 
pictures and videos that I don't really share anywhere else. All right, and if you like the video, please be sure to uh, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. We're almost at 50,000, we're getting close, so keep those subscriptions coming. And if you wanna support the channel further, consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang and uh, become a Patreon monthly supporter. Starts for as little as $3 a month. Thank you, my friends. Uh, you are appreciated, and I hope to see you on Saturday. Bye-bye.